the mausoleum looks like the one up at sunset. Yeah. The tree. Oregon and we're checking out a few different cemeteries. It is super windy as you can tell. So this video is going to be mostly just photographs of different beautiful headstones that we find here. I'm standing underneath this multi-trunked, gorgeous, very old holly tree. Oh, a moment in a, a, a tiny reprieve in wind here. Uh, we are at the IOOF Cemetery on 3rd Street in Tillamook, Oregon, and uh, I think I'll just voice over most of it because the wind is just really intense. We're looking for the first burial and the first woman burial. It's the same person, um, last name Harrington. She was buried in 1872. So we're just uh, wandering around looking for her and taking photos of cool things. of Mr. and Mrs. Ed Laughlin. Born on October 16th, 1903. Died on August 22nd, 1904. Less than a year old. It has a garden. It has a garden bed in here that you can plant up. Interesting. 
interesting concept. So we have the baby raised bed. We have a large one right over here. Oh, I love these so much. These are all uh, bronze, which is really intense. This is for jo Joseph O. Petty. 1966 to 1914, 47 years, 7 months, and 11 days. It's so cool. by it so you can see how big it is. It's quite large. Man. It says David Reasoner came to Tillamook County in 1860, took a homestead 11 miles south of the Tillamook City, cut a trail and packed his provisions to his cabin for five years. He lived in Tillamook County for 48 years. This is at rest. David Reisner, 1824 to 1908, 84 years old. He lived half his life here. Tillamook County as a tribute to the memory of its first white settler, one of nature's noblemen who amassed no riches except in the hearts of his fellows who shared the pri private, private, privatization? No. Shared the privations of pioneer days. The hands that 
help are far better than lips that pray. Love is the ever gleaming, gleaming star that leads the way, that shines not on vague worlds of bliss, but on paradise in this. So, so, so. Joseph Champion landed in Kelchis Point on the Tillamook Bay April 1st, 1851, having come from Astoria in a whale boat with two companions who returned with the boat the next day. He lived in a hollow spring. white settler, the first county clerk, and taught the first school in Tillamont County. All right, that is going to do it for these three cemeteries. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll be sharing them separately over three weeks. So um, you can watch the Tillamook Cemetery series. So if you are seeing the end of this video, you've seen one of three at least, but keep watching because there's more to come. Or maybe this is the last one and we will see you the next time in another cemetery at another time. Keep celebrating your life and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.